Welcome, my artistic friends of the interwebs. Um, this is a painting that I've been working on forever. If forever was actually a measurement of time, and I actually think it is, <laughs> this would apply to this painting. This is a sunflower that I started last winter, and we're we're long into summer now. We're in the dog days of August. Um, and I just I would do a certain amount. I would change directions. I would, by the way, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, I would change directions. I would paint out things. I just, you know, and then at some point, a couple of different times, I just walked away. I walked away and I'm like, you know what? I will come back to this when I have some recharged batteries. And here's Here's what really what I have to say. Oh, by the way, I gotta I gotta get this in there. Please, please, please forgive the uh, studio. It needs uh, serious attention. <laughs> it needs serious attention. Um, it's more like it kind of has a lot in common with Francis Bacon's studio. If you don't know who I'm talking about, he's a British artist, famous, famous, famous artist, one of the more famous British artists. And his studio, when he died, they actually had um, footage of in his studio, and it was. I have no words to describe it. Made my place look spotless. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you, this is uh, this is my studio. It is what it is. And there's paint and stuff all over the place. So let me get back to this. I digress. So here's the thing. There's so much about this painting that I love. And there's so much about this painting that I hate. Um, I don't think, I don't consider this anywhere near done. But I'll, I'll walk you through some of what I what I did do. See, originally when I when I bought this canvas, and I decided to work on it, I was going to be doing a series of urban, um, kind of like urban flower type. I wanted to kind of mimic stuff you would see painted on walls downtown, any pick a city, any city, and that was what my goal was. So let me show you what this one turned out like. I actually like this painting a lot. So I used a lot of spray paint and other mediums. Now, with this one, I started out like that. And so that's where this drip, I wanted drips. I wanted what you would see on, on walls. Um, so that, that this is actually kind of a, a, a heavy spray painted on purpose drip. And so if you look past the sunflowers, you will see elements of spray paint all right that's when i that that was my original intent that was my original thought process i was going to do that and then it got to a point where i started using uh i started using uh cold wax and oil and i i really dig the cold wax and oil i love the impasto effects um, I just do. There's a lot about it that I hate, but there is so much more that I absolutely love. But, <laughs> but there are limitations to it. So I take this painting to, um, to an art walk and I was asked to do some, uh, outdoor painting, some exhibition painting, which I love doing. I love painting in front of people. Um, I had the opportunity to make that happen, and that's what I did. And that was a couple of months ago, and it's the last time this painting has seen any paint. I mean, it's literally dry as a bone, which is cool. So, problem was, I was using RNF oil sticks, pigment sticks, and um, and it was like hot. It was like ninety some, almost. I mean, it was like way into the nineties. And so the pigment sticks, <laughs> the wax and the pigment sticks were just melting, and it became really super difficult for me to uh, to work this painting. And then I got really frustrated with it, and actually at one point started finger painting it, which I'll be honest with you, I was digging the effects of that. But I didn't have any choice because you couldn't use the RNF pigment sticks like like I like to use them. Um, I did bring some uh, cold wax medium with me that I was thinking about mixing with some uh, some oil paint on a palette um, and just using a brush, which you could do. It's one of the things I love about that. There's so many different ways you can apply the paint. So um, I came home with this thing. I was frustrated. I came home and I just put it in on this easel and it has stayed on this easel in my... Uh, for all intents and purposes, garage for my studio. I shouldn't call it a garage because there's no cars able to come in here. It's just paint, 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 paint. So 
I left it here a couple of months and now I'm starting to Jones for this project. It's not done. It's nowhere near done. There's so much more that I want to do with these sunflowers. Um, but it's a tricky thing. You know, it's a tricky thing because some of the things that I want to do will also eliminate some of the things that I really like that's already been done. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, hey, look, I, I have had friends who have told me they're like, look, this is done. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it is not. Um, I'll know when it's done. And this is not done. Having said that, I kind of dig it. I do. I kind of dig it. I like the, um, I don't know if I could show this or not. And uh, this side, maybe not. But I do like the original spray paint um, drip, drip stuff. I love that. I love the way it, it, see this side, you can see it really well. I did the same thing on that side, but it doesn't come across as, as prominent. Um, I do. I like that. I like that whole vibe because you know why I like it? Nobody does it. <laughs> Not that I've ever seen. Um, yeah, it's very cool. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think sometimes, to be completely honest, I think sometimes it's good to walk away from a piece and leave it sit on a canvas somewhere or hang it on the wall or whatever. Just leave it and let time take, you know, take its place. And then you just kind of like get re-inspired and then you come back to it. I think, to be honest with you, that is sometimes the best thing you can do. And then other times it's just best to call it done. <laughs> it's just best to call it done. I just don't feel in my heart that this is done. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Are there pieces that you have in your life that you've worked on maybe for years? You know, William de Kooning, and if you don't know who William de Kooning is, oh my God. But if you don't know who he is, um, very famous artist. And he was uh, known for never letting his artwork go. <laughs> his wife, uh, Elaine de Kooning, who is an amazing artist in her own right, both of which are, are have passed away. But um, his wife said that, you know, the the famous saying was, that his art he didn't leave his studio, it escaped. And she tells a funny story about how he had a piece hanging in a museum. His pieces hang in museums all over the world. Um, and and uh, he just never felt like he was done with it. And at one point, he was literally packing up his gear and he was going to go to that museum and start working on that painting. Well, that painting it had been bought by the museum for tens of millions of dollars. And his wife said, they will arrest you. They're not going to care that you're William de Kooning and, and this is work that you once owned. They're going to arrest you. And uh, anyway, she had to literally talk him out of his insane plan to go. And I can't even imagine being at the museum, having this old dude walk up to a painting and start painting. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Who knows if any of the people in the museum would have known who he was. Yeah, no, it would have been ugly. So, but anyway, yeah, he was always one that felt like his pieces were not done. And it's not that I'm like that because I've got plenty of pieces that I literally are like, it's done. But this ain't one of them. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I've read a lot about this plenty long enough. Everybody take care. See ya!